Hello and welcome to everybody. In this intermediate session, we will discuss practical activities with kids. In these coronavirus induced stay at home times, it is challenging to keep the kids engaged without being glued to the television or tablet or smartphone screens all the time. Below are some practical activities to consider. These were conceived for my elementary kids and can be tailored for your kids as required by you. As always, comments on other progressive ideas are welcome. There are a ton of online resources like Pinterest, YouTube videos, educational sites that temporarily allow free access, etc. Some projects already done in the last few years were destination imagination projects. These are fun to do as a family even if you worked only on a few parts and pieces. I have been a manager twice, once for my older kids team and once for my younger one. For the older kids team, they learned sawing and drilling. We had a few scrimmages with their middle or high school siblings who were on different teams. The older kids were astonished and probably envious because none of them had sawed with a real saw or used a drill. The younger kids team did activities appropriate to their age group that included a lot of cutting cardboard, gluing and a creation that was life size. Again, challenging stuff that kept the group nicely busy quite a few weekends. Other activities are what they term as instant challenges where with regular household items like paper and straw, kids need to come up with innovative ideas. Google or YouTube destination imagination for more ideas. The projects completed in the previous few weeks with others being lined up for forthcoming weekends are listed below. Anything to get out of this COVID-19 cabin fever. Our first venture was to change a flat tire on my car. I let my kids loosen the lug nuts by stepping on it with my support and they had a blast. Actually fought to take turns. Of course they had to jack up remove the old tire, roll the donut into place, add back the lugs, roll back the jack, etc. But for kids when a little fun is mixed in, they do have the attention span. Plus they learn to everyday useful skill. Disclaimer: Please be very careful and lend a hand since tires are heavy. One of my kids tried to lift the tire and I quickly nixed it. You as a parent and adult are solely responsible for the safety of your kids. The second weekend we learned to pop the hood, secure it in place and add windshield wiper fluid. Of course, with the fun part that included turning the wiper fluid on repeatedly to ensure that it was working, thus depleting the fluid, adding it back, repeat, you get the picture. The third upcoming one would be to mark jump starting the car they already know how to pop a hood so it should be a cake walk right fingers crossed disclaimer please be very careful and lend a hand since hood is heavy and very dangerous you as a parent and adult are solely responsible for the safety of your kids second disclaimer some of the above don't work if you own a tesla of course my kids got a little theoretical lecture about electricity. It helped that my older one had studied introduction to energy, sources of electricity, etc. After a point, of course, they were getting starry-eyed and did not know when the boring lecture would end and were raring to do the actual work. So we talked about mains, tested an outlet to see that current was flowing, turned the mains off and opened a couple of outlets and a Pandora's box of questions ranging from heart or phase, neutral, grounding, wires, insulation, splices, how wires travel to the mains through the attic, they get grounded, etc. Turned into a quick 30 to 40 minute practical learning experience that kindled their interest and hopefully helps them retain the information for the long term. For my younger one, we have lined up changing a light bulb and talking about different types of bulbs. Who would believe that the incandescent bulb has turned obsolete like rotary phones and CRT monitors? At least my laptop is still a little older and not touch enabled. Disclaimer, 
please be very careful and lend a hand since electricity is very dangerous. You, as a parent and adult, are solely responsible for the safety of your kids. Electronic-related session is lined up for future, where we discuss differences between electronics and electrical appliances. Other topics, depending on the kids' ages, can include DC versus AC current, capacitors, resistors, ICs, the ubiquitous computer, smartphone, etc. In the good old days, I would have run down to the radio shack and grabbed a PCB for demo. You may still be able to open a desktop or with more difficulty, a laptop or smartphone to show the various components. Personally, I may try and open up the back panel on my TV. Disclaimer, please be very careful and don't damage your device. My wife and I intend to drink coffee and our tea prepared by our kids. They should be able to prepare from scratch, turn the stoves on and off, and clean all the pots and pans. The kids have already prepared cookies with help from my spouse. Of course, the cookies were extra delicious. Disclaimer, please be very careful and lend a hand since hot stoves, ovens can be very dangerous. You as a parent and adult are solely responsible for the safety of your kids. A civil engineering related topic is almost unlimited with buildings, infrastructure, transportation, and other related topics. The plan is to work on a mock building with straws and paper and discuss various building components like walls, columns, slabs, roof, beams, foundation, openings for windows, doors, etc. Who knows? It may lead to other topics like roads, bridges, transportation, water, wastewater, the ability to shine as a parent and bore the kids to death. Just kidding. Is unlimited. Some of the items like roads and overpasses, trains, ships, harbors, boats, tunnels, etc. the kids may have already seen or heard about. Others like water and sewerage can be partially shown at the house level with faucets, pipes, etc. Still other topics like logistics, warehouses may be abstract. This vast topic will require multiple sessions. Finance related, we have had one session on finance. This is a little difficult to explain to the kids. We started off with the why is saving required or important? What is savings growth, income, expenditure, loan, etc. Loan is easily explained with an example of loaning toys with each other. Difficulty is explaining why interest is charged on a loan. Natural question, should we charge interest while loaning to our siblings? Oh, the challenges and variety of questions by kids is always eye-opening and eye-popping. Follow-on questions or topics can include taxes, interest, etc. that have been especially challenging for the younger kids. There are various methods to teach. The most practical may be to play with pretend or monopoly paper money and see how money moves. Always open to good practical ideas. Other topics may be related, lemonade stands, selling products, companies, how, why, etc. Medical related topic is planned for the future. The intent is to talk a little bit of anatomy, heartbeat, pulse, bad versus good bacteria, and so on. Good to emphasize movement, good exercise, intake of fruits, vegetables, and milk for a healthy lifestyle. My kids have played with doctor's kits in the past and occasionally do so even now. So it would be good to talk about the stethoscope, thermometer, and BP check. We have talked about various topics like arteries, veins, various organs, and sense organs. Two things to always remember. Since attention spans are short, practical work combined with just enough theory to kindle their interest helps. Some of their questions and other leading questions by us can be turned into homework and further study. If they yawn repeatedly, time to change tack and turn things exciting. 
The second important item is for you, the parent, to have adequate knowledge or learn it, plus having the patience to answer the deluge of questions. If there are no questions, typically they have not enjoyed the session. It wouldn't do to pressurize the kids into learning or even having them realize they are studying. Then all they want is movies or cartoons. There are a ton of other activities. These include academic ones like word games for better English, math magic to ease math learning, online learning, etc. A lot of schools have virtual classrooms and provide access to online resources like Brain Pop and Khan Academy for the studies. School districts also use excellent websites like GoNoodle that have leveraged the power of the screen instead of fighting the growing screen time. Other activities include playing games, board games, building items like paper airplanes, homemade kaleidoscope, binoculars, and involving kids in sewing, household chores like vacuuming, cleaning, helping with the laundry, and so on. There may be other hobbies or interests like art, painting, sewing, woodwork, sculpting. The list is endless and unique to your family. The disclaimer is always for you as the parent to be careful, helpful, and plan your activities for your kids and your abilities. You need to do the due diligence and you are responsible for your kids' safety. You definitely don't want to be cavalier even if it relates to your own professional field of work. For example, an electrician by profession may think, why turn off the power? have worked many times before as is. Kids are not responsible adults and are naturally curious. Multiple ones can be very distractive and get injured in the blink of an eye. More adults may need to participate depending on the age, type and number of kids. Hope this video helps you teach important life skills while having fun. Thank you.